Okay guys, today we are going to see wing modeling. That is not a simple wing, but a complex wing with a cambered airfoil section. And today we are going to see tapered and swept wings. Uh, we are using generative shape design workbench. Open mechanical design wireframe or surface design or you can also go to start shape generative shape design I prefer generative shape design for a complex wing we need an airfoil section airfoil is a cross section of wing we cannot uh, directly put the points and draw a cambered airfoil so we need to go to internet and directly we can download the coordinates of airfoil I am taking SC0610 type SC0610 or any airfoil do you, you know you can also type NACA series airfoils 0012 2412 mm -hmm. anything and you will get airfoiltools.com open that airfoiltools.com and you can find airfoil sc20610 uh, and you can also go to airfoil plotter send to airfoil plotter in this you can increase the chord radius thickness and I don't want to change anything I am keeping as it is and click CSV file for coordinates if you click that automatically a excel sheet will download with the coordinates open that you will find excel sheet with coordinates of x and y Airfoil is a 2D geometry. We will only have two dimensions, and the third dimension will give us a wing. And uh, if we scroll down, we can find that camber line. And uh, if we scroll again, and you can also find a like, chord line dimensions. Don't consider these dimensions. Only consider up to airfoil dimensions don't consider the camber and the uh, chord line dimensions now go to computers and uh, local disk C go to program files into 86 or program files whichever the fi whichever the folder the dazzle system is there go open the dazzle system b20 and intel a code in this open command in command press g and you will have a three excel sheets named gst copy gsd point spline loft from excel copy the file and paste it on desktop yeah open that file in that file you can see start loft start curve and uh, something and uh, end curve start curve copy these three accept start curve and start loft uh, delete everything and go to main thing copy the coordinates copy here directly 
paste paste them and the first column denotes x and second column denotes y and third column denotes x z if i want the coordinates in yz plane just select the dimension select the coordinates and move to y and z columns that is b and c columns and keep zero in this column if you want in xz plane copy one column of dimension in a and other in c now copy this and paste at the end of the coordinates yeah delete this and you have start laugh start curve and the xyz coordinates and at the end you will have end curve end laugh and end now go to view macros view macros you will find that if you open this thing it's fine if not you have to enable macros in your microsoft office go to options advanced or add in i am using 2013 version so i have to go to trust center and trust center settings and i will find that macro settings disable all macros you can select that enable all macros and click okay if macros works with you then forget about the procedure just now i have given and uh, put the cursor on start lock and uh, go to view macros and uh, click on main run if you want only points then press 1 or if you want points and spline press 2 and click okay and this uh, code will run and you can find the air file section you may notice that air file section at the end is open you are in generative shape design and you have so much of wireframe options to close this curve insert wireframe using connect curve select the point and the line and select down point and the line you will have take appropriate dimension and you can also close this thing preview and okay now you have a closed section and don't forget to join them press this and press the line and use join insert wireframe sorry surfaces operations join and these two wireframes are join and if you want to an extrude a surface about this directly click this or scroll down in a specification tree and click join and insert surface extrude you can specify direction i want to specify in x direction x component 
see you will have a rectangular ring in the next video we will have a tapered and swept back wing of uh, desired airfoil coordinates thank you for watching the video and